Hi, this is Dr. Dan Person. We're talking about D3 deficiency. D3 deficiency is really common in Utah. It was also common among dinosaurs and other ancient critters. Well, well probably not dinosaurs, I'm joking, but um, <laughs> I met Dinosaur Land in uh, Animal Kingdom at Disney World. D3, they found super low levels of D3 in people with new onset of type 1 diabetes. Isn't that interesting? It's critical to the insulin receptor. Also, I see it all the time in women with osteoporosis. It can cause you to be fatigued. It can cause you to look pale. So if you have friends who have pallor and are fatigued, you gotta think, do they have a D3 deficiency? 5,000 units a day is usually what I start patients on. Maybe 10,000 if they're really deficient. I'll check both serum and intracellular levels to see where they're at. I use the spectra cell to check their intracellular levels. D3 is amazing, you get it from sunlight. So it's weird that people that have a D2 or D3 deficiency, D2, D2 converts to D3 in the sunlight in our, through our skin, isn't that weird? And D2 comes from our kidneys. But if they're super pale, then you gotta wonder, do they have a D3 deficiency? Or if they have osteoporosis, do they have a D3 deficiency? Get their levels up to high normal and keep it there. They feel a lot better and they don't go away like the dinosaurs did. This is Dr. Dan Purser. God bless and go in good health. I've diagnosed patients with diabetes, freshly diagnosed diabetes, who actually just have a, thyro a, a zinc deficiency or people who are, quote, hypothyroid when in reality all they have is a zinc deficiency. Zinc is also critical to the body's manufacture of testosterone.